So here's the big idea today. Perception does not determine reality. Would you read that with me? Perception does not determine reality. Now, you and I have all heard the statement, and I've actually used the statement with my team and my teams in the past, that perception is reality. Have you heard this? Perception is reality. Perception is reality. In ministry, I've even had ministers in my younger years that came alongside me and said, Stephen, what you really need to get good at is managing people's perceptions because perception is reality. Well, I'm here to tell you that perception is not reality. Reality is reality. Whatever we perceive about a thing is always going to be under the authority of how God perceives the thing. Perception does not determine who God is. And if you have a God that is fitting into your, your, your perception of what he should be instead of his reality becoming reality for you, then you are worshiping a God that does not exist, a false God, a little lowercase g God that might entertain you for a while but will not provide the life that you're looking for. Perception is not reality. There is no your truth and my truth. Your perception of life and the world and the people around you does not determine the reality of those things. Again, let me ask you, if you're wrong, do you actually want to know? And this matters because you may feel entitled to your own truth. But here's the deal. Eventually, whether you're a Christian or not, your truth, if it doesn't line up with the truth, is going to clash with the capital T truth. One day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. That's not just for Christians. But you know, the same sun that melts wax hardens clay. And when we stand before Christ as a people, there will be people that have not placed their faith in Christ. And they're going to feel entitled to their own truth. But when that truth that little lowercase t truth clashes with the capital T truth. Who do you think is going to be winning in that situation? Those who are with the one who proved that he is the way, the truth, and the life.